So, you want to know how to place your hooks inside a cakewalk? Keep on watching this video. Seven and hit enter. Now let's go over there and see if it's the hook. Is What's up everybody? Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another video. Hey, check this out. What I'm gonna be doing in this video is quickly showing you guys the most effective way to go ahead and place your hooks inside a cakewalk. A lot of you think that you may have to record your hook more than once, but guys, you don't. Record your hook one good time, and all you have to do is copy and paste the hook over. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now, so let's go ahead and jump in it. All right, guys, so check this out. The most important effective things that you're gonna need to know right here, right now, when it comes to copying over your hooks, Number one, it's going to be the BPM. You need to know the BPM of the song. Knowing the BPM of the song is going to actually help you place your hooks easily. Also, it's more effective in using things like your delay too when you're trying to get your delay timing right. So you need to know the BPM of the song, okay? That's really going to help out. So right now in this particular case, the BPM of the song happens to be 120. So all you want to do is highlight it here. Go ahead and type it in. 120 enter okay so what you want to do next is go ahead and change this to mbt this is going to help us find out the measures and kind of be able to place our hooks a lot easier versus just trying to do it like by one minute two minutes you know whatever the case may be as long as we know the measures of the song uh the bars the beats all those things it'll, it'll be basically a lot easier for you to go ahead and place the hooks so change that to mbt now, the next thing that you definitely want to do that's going to be super important, what I do for this particular song is I want to go ahead and right click here and you want to change this to whole, okay? Once you go here, this is going to be like our snap to grid. The snap to grid is really going to help. When this is turned off, you basically can move your hook freely um, without it snapping to any type points, making it a opportunity to be a little bit more precise if you need to fix something but we want to snap it to a grid since we know the bpm because every while producing this beat i knew exactly when the hook came in the verse came in the bridge came in the intro the outro if you know that and you know how to count your number of bars properly then it's basically going to make this process a lot easier for you so i know in this particular case that if I was to start, so say my hook is going to be like eight bars and I decide to make my verse like 12 bars or 16 bars, I know after that I'm going to have another eight bars come in and then that's going to re repeat again for the second verse and then another eight bars. So as long as you know how to count your bars and know when your hooks come in, this is going to be a piece of cake, okay? So you want to make sure that this is on snap. So you click this, it'll highlight itself, and you want to right click here, and you want to change this to whole as well. So both of these are whole. Then you want to snap by. I have the snap to grid by, okay? So in a process, now what you want to do is figure out what your beat is or the beat in general. Figure out where the hook comes in. A good indicator to know where the hook come in is for the intro, you're going to have the least number of uh, I guess you can say instruments, right? That's why it looks really thin. But where the hook comes in for this song, because I produced the beat, if you notice the waveform is really thick, that lets me know that this is likely the hook or the chorus, okay? And then you notice that the waveform kind of thins out or it gets a little thinner, it's not as full. That lets me know that that's likely where the verse comes in, okay? As you can see, I have it named up here with a marker as verse. And then it gets a little bit thicker, but not as full as the hook. So that lets me know that this is the pre-hook or the pre-chorus, okay? So you just kind of go through your song and figure that out. So this is where my hook is. This is where my hook is. This is where my hook is, okay? That kind of lets me know. Now, what you want to do in a process is to be able to set a marker. All you need to do is find the point to where the hook starts and set a marker. So, for example, if I just move this one out of the way, because it's going to create double ones the more you do it, okay? Say if I wanted to click here, you want to click directly on a line where that point starts, and we're going to hit the letter M. And then we're going to name this outro. 
that's setting up your markers. Now you have markers to know exactly where your verses, your hooks, your intros, and your outros start. Okay, that's very helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and jump quickly into the tutorial showing you guys how to place the hook. Okay, so in this particular case, say if I go ahead and delete this hook here. Okay, I'm going to delete it on purpose. And I'm going to go to the second hook. Okay, and this is where my second hook starts. Now, if you notice, on the second hook where, where the hook is starting, it's not starting directly on bar 43, and it's not starting directly on bar 44. It's starting somewhere in between. So in order to copy your hook the right way, this is what you're going to want to do. If you said you had extra, you just want to left click it. So click this smart tool here. Click directly on the line before where the hook starts. And what you want to do is just click it, hold it, and drag it, okay? Now, check this out. While it's highlighted, if I had extra, say if my song was like, had all this extra, man, I don't want that in there. I don't want to copy that over. You just highlight the whole thing, put the cursor in the middle of it, and you just drag it back, just like that, okay? But I don't want to have, me personally, I don't want to have all that extra. I want it to be lined up as much as possible but just kind of cut all that extra out of the vocals that's one way that you can do that but now that we want to copy the song over instead of taking it right at this bar what you want to do is we're going to take it at bar 43 right where it starts okay the actual bar the whole bar and we're going to highlight the whole thing and after you do that you just want to right click it and hit copy okay and just go ahead and leave events, everything here, as is, markers, everything, and just go ahead and put OK. Then you want to go ahead and right click it again and go to Paste Special. Now, now that I got my markers set up, I know that on bar 7 is where my first hook starts. All I'm going to do is change this first number. Highlight 42, put 7. And hit enter. Now let's go over there and see if it's the hook is on bar seven. Let's check it out. You got me feeling like I don't matter. You got me feeling like I come after every little thing. Voila, it's there. So control Z to delete it. I'm gonna right click it again. I'm gonna hit edit, paste special, make sure that it says bar seven, highlight the first number, bar seven, and hit OK. And that's it, guys. That's all it takes. Now, if I edit and undo that, let me tell you something. Guys, if you don't highlight your vocals properly and say if you do it like this, say if you grab it like at the beginning, uh, if you try to grab it even here, and say if we did highlight it and you didn't copy it right, all it's going to do is just copy it on the wrong one or it's going to copy it off. Say if you put it on bar eight. So we're going to hit pay special. And we're going to change this to bar eight. I guarantee you the hook is going to be off now. Okay, so we're going to go back to the beginning and go to bar eight. And if you notice, it copied that marker over for you. Like I don't you so you want to make sure that you don't do that, guys. And that's pretty much all it takes to go ahead and copy this over. So I just want to make sure that I copy this back over to that same spot. Pay special. We want to put that at bar seven. And let's see if it did it right. And that's how you fly all your hooks, guys. That's how you place your hooks or place anything that you may want to copy the same thing over. Something from a verse or... Um, something from a pre-course or something like that it'll be pretty easy if you do it like that okay guys all right guys so that's pretty much it for the video if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up leave me some comments let me know what you think guys did this help you out if it did please let me know don't hesitate to share this video with other people also if you work in any other programs like pro tools logic fl studio be sure to go check out my other tutorials because i am willing to help you guys out just be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and be be sure to share this video with other people. As always, stay tuned for the next video. You got me feeling